Speaking of poll numbers, several presidential hopefuls tried to improve their chances in two key primary states. Candidates descended on New Hampshire and Iowa for the 4th of July holiday, mixing a little patriotism and politics. Jeremy Roth has more. Yes, elect me. I think that is the right answer. All right, everybody, here we go. Look at the no rest for the weary as presidential candidates worked 4th of July celebrations. This style of campaigning for me is perfect. GOP hopefuls Jeb Bush, Rick Perry, Lindsey Graham, Marco Rubio, and Chris Christie pressed the flesh at parades in New Hampshire. Happy 4th. Nice to meet you. Go down there and burn them up. Jeb Bush seemed to enjoy working on a holiday. New Hampshire voters are, are discerning, they're educated, and it gives me a chance to to tell the, tell the Jeff story and talk about ideas that I think are important. Even a former presidential candidate got in on the act. Hi, guys. Hi there. 2012 Republican nominee Mitt Romney greeted crowds at a New Hampshire parade and took a moment to address Donald Trump's comments on undocumented immigrants. Yes, I think he made a, uh, a severe error in saying what he did about Mexican-Americans uh, and uh, feel it was unfortunate. Campaigning in Glen, New Hampshire, Democratic frontrunner Hillary Clinton got specific on issues. She told the crowd she wants to be the small business president. I want to take a bright light and shine it on every regulation, every licensing requirement, every tax requirement, and take a hard look at the difficulty of getting credit. Clinton's challenger, Senator Bernie Sanders in Iowa, says his campaign is about working people. We have got the right issues. We're going to be outspent by big money and trust, but we have enough money to run a strong campaign. And that was Jeremy Roth reporting.